Hi everyone, so the season 5 PTR is live. I just finished my first stream trying out as much as I can and oh boy was it quite an experience I gotta say. So what you see here right now is the new endgame system that is being introduced in season 5, the Infernal Hordes, which is basically a rogue light wave survival mode. You see this here on the right, uh, on the top right here actually, it has multiple waves that come at you and you have to defend them for roughly one and a half minutes and every time you finish one of them there is like this end reward here where you get to choose one out of three either boons and banes that will help you out or make it harder for you for the rest of the run so for now i gotta say this system has not really caught my interest in too much i gotta say mostly due to the fact that it is actually very difficult to get to a point where you can reach the appropriate difficulty for your character so i just went in with my existing character here this was like a rapid fire rogue that i had from my live server uh, account basically and yeah it was just i was kind of stuck in the low difficulties with no way to really upgrade it that is something that seems to be on the known issues list and that is actually a reason for blizzard to take down the ptr sometime tomorrow and do some fixing so that's kind of good news here because for now the feedback seems to be quite negative about this, I guess mostly due to this fact. I think if the difficulty can be scaled appropriately to the point where it feels you know, right for your character, it will actually be somewhat fun. And if the reward scales up with that difficulty, it will be pretty good. But I guess we'll see once we get there. For now though, I just want to go over what I have discovered so far. And well, there has been a lot of really interesting stuff in this patch so far. I have a bit of a list here that I just put together. Just random notes and uh, little details that I found. So talking about the Infernal Hordes here, just to close that topic at the start. Uh, well, it has um, eight tiers going from one and I believe two in World Tier 3 to then World Tier uh, 4 tier 3 to tier 8 starting at level 100 monsters going all the way to level 200 monsters so those little 200 uh, tier 8 infernal holds are definitely no joke you need a really strong character to take those down and if you try to rank them up solo they have almost no way of doing that right now so as i mentioned apparently it's being looked into and then this will hopefully improve but right now you have to basically slowly farm up the keys for that system and you do that by, for example, doing Nightmare Dungeons or Whispers or Helltide. And then you go and do these really low tier, easy waves for like 10 minutes or so. Fight the boss and one shot them. And then you have maybe a one in three chance to get one upgrade that you can put on one of your other keys for plus one tier. So it's pretty atrocious to farm up and it actually takes multiple hours, many hours to even have a chance to get to the highest tier basically for one attempt. So right now this is really bad. But yeah, we'll see. And uh, well, the rewards are also kind of bad right now. So <laughs> even if you get there, you can maybe open like one chest at the end and get like one or two items with a greater affix. And this is after basically hours of investment or so. So right now this is really badly tuned. There's also some other issues like for example, in group play, you can actually just share those keys and then everyone gets the rewards and it's actually like a thousand times easier than in solo play to even get to the highest tiers. Like I feel like as a solo player, I have still have no chance. This is like boss rotas, but on crack, if you think, if you will, basically. So that's kind of where it's at. And even the life doesn't seem to scale in the group, I've been told, so <laughs> that makes it even funnier. So lots of funny stuff going on. Now let's talk about some other things here. Some bugs and undocumented changes. Oh boy. So number one, exploit weakness. That is pretty funny. So I can show that real quick. This is um, something I've also experienced, but here's a good clip that shows that. So someone sent this to me. Uh, this is uh, Eventor who sent this. And basically what happens is exploit weakness has been redesigned. That was in the patch notes already to say something like, you stack it up 50 times. You can see that here on the bar right now with uh, 39 stacks. And once you reach 50 stacks, you will execute all non-boss enemies. Basically on the entire screen around you and reset the bonus. And you can see that's in action here right now. It looks pretty hilarious. It just, everything just explodes and it says X. Execution, I guess, uh, in this client. <laughs> So that's kind of funny. Yeah, that is certainly not intended to work that way. And this is also how some people are clearing all the way through pit 200 as a rogue. And then you reach the boss in like five minutes and then you alter four because you have zero chance of taking down the boss on the 200, of course. 
but right now you can basically just clean everything up that is not a boss enemy that seems unintended in two separate ways number one the tooltip in the game has actually changed from saying non-boss to non-elites so the elites and i guess the champions also should not even be affected by this and it also specifically calls out execute which is usually a mechanic in diablo 4 that requires the target to be at the injured state so below 35 percent life and you see here all these guys are full hp he's obviously not doing a dent here in level 200 pits you see here like the helper is not, not even moving on any of these guys and then boom you know everything just explodes so it's kind of funny it doesn't really have a real purpose currently i guess outside of maybe sometimes actually speeding up your runs a little bit but yeah i guess then it needs to be some tweaking done here so that is kind of funny there's some other cool stuff though that also made it into the patch so let's talk about that so party members pins show lines on the map so similar to for your own like gps navigation basically when you open the map you can now see everyone's party members like lines on the map so it's really cool to kind of you know show okay we're going here we're going there i found that a nice little detail you can now also show your hp and resource bar above your character so you might have seen it at the start but i can show this again real quick i turn this on as well just to see how this looks like uh, so when you do like some runs you have like this little bar here for example this is alive for some reason it's blue i'm not sure why it's blue this may be like party member related since maybe you're like always blue as yourself or something like that i think it would maybe be better if this was red if it's like a life bar and then blue if it's um like barriered basically similar to your own health globe that would make some sense maybe this is actually the intention i don't know but it's a kind of nice little feature for people that like that so i try to play with this a little bit and then i was running some nightmare dungeons i haven't actually stepped into the pit much yet but it seems like the hp has been rebalanced in some way some stuff seems way tankier i'm not sure if this is like just what i noticed or maybe it's just the bosses apparently the bosses are very tanky at least in the pits and there's a funny little thing that um dying to a pit boss makes them squishier <laughs> so i've actually watched some people do that so they walked into a boss fight in the pit and they could just do no damage to them and then they died and they would just go back on a second attempt and they would do five times the amount of damage or 10 times or something it was a pretty huge difference here so uh i'm not sure what's up with that and this is also something that seems to be in this known issues list that um, pass radar posted a little while ago here that uh, says something about uh, the bosses here it says boss health decreases when a player respawns and re-enters so they didn't specifically call out the pit here but they might mean that thing which sounds like this is actually an unintended uh, change so people were kind of complaining that stuff has become very tanky and then it resets to normal after dying but it seems actually like the tanky version is the normal version <laughs> so we will we'll see what will happen here exactly but it's just some interesting little bug that appeared and this here as well this is also not in the patch notes or anything like that and i have not any idea if this is intended or not it could be either because well it wasn't mentioned anywhere and maybe they just want to make the pit really hard now or something like that but the pit bosses have the tormented stacks mechanic so if you fight uh tormented bosses or lilith you might know these like little red skulls that appear on your debuff bar when you get hit by certain abilities well that seems to appear for the basic everything that the shadow bosses do now so this makes those uh, especially long high tier pit bosses really hard so to the point where i guess a lot of people get frustrated really fast at this it kind of surprises me because just recently they have nerfed all of the pit bosses and especially the shadow bosses made them way easier deal way less damage and now we have this so i'm not sure what is going on but on the other hand it seems also really weird that this would somehow unintentionally make it into the game so no idea now in terms of bugs and undocumented changes there's a lot of more little details that we'll have to uncover at some point uh, it's just like a lot of stuff happened and a lot of little things but there's also this here so um, a lot of people logged in and tried some hard seeker rogue and a lot of people said in my chat for example that they feel extremely weak or something so it turns out that apparently victimize has kind of reverted back to season three status where it was pretty much unusable and was bugged with many different effects to the point where your original hits would deal a lot more damage than whatever the victimize could spit out basically uh, so that is kind of funny development so this might be due to like the, you know the versioning of the ptr or something like that but there's also this clip here so someone has found a new umber crux um, rogue 
uh, dagger, the new unique for rogues that spawns these shadow totems. So you see them here, the shade totem. Uh, these items are pretty hard to get right now, and all these new uniques are very hard to find currently thanks to the very low availability of those infernal horde keys and then trying to get to the end and trying to open the chest there so i'm kind of just <laughs> relying on secondhand information here basically but uh, it is uh, this item here for the rogues or the umber crux that spawns a totem and when you hit a totem it will replicate 30 percent of the damage taken to surrounding enemies so i've also heard that apparently this can replicate to another totem and then they can both explode Apparently there's no infinite loop or something like that. Like one of them hits the other and then both of them explode, I guess. So there's a bit of an extra scaling. And maybe there's some fishy stuff going on here as well. Because if you look at this, for example, from my clip here, uh, well, you can dish out some pretty serious damage when you hit those totems. So you see this here, for example. Uh, casual 4.8 billion hit <laughs> with um, what is that totem basically exploding. And funny enough, this is a crit, so this might actually be kind of like what might be bugged here, because I would not expect this damage to have any chance to crit. So it sounds like potentially, like you hit the totem for X damage, and that damage was a crit, and then it can crit again from the explosion, so that would not really make sense, I think. Who knows, maybe there's some other stuff going on, I didn't really get my hands on it yet. But either way, I predicted that this item would probably be very powerful, Right now with like this double explosion stuff that seems unintended and critting also seems unintended. But even in the scenario where it just does like a raw, uh, like 30% of the damage would be a pretty good item. So I'm very excited for this. And I think this will definitely define uh, the rogue meta in the future, unless there's some severe nerfs or something like that coming to this. Either way, it was a fun first night at the PTR. We have six more to go, so I want to try to get some testing in for all the classes. I have a lot of builds planned, and uh, actually like a few days in a row, I've been just working on Season 5 plans already. So if you're looking for anything for the PTR, of course, nothing here is final, but again, uh, I've previewed this in other videos as well. Woody Builds channel here on my Discord. You can find the link in the description. There's a bunch of the planners. Uh, so I've been working on some stuff here just to kind of get ready. And uh, well, this was before we had some of our um, other um, unique reveals here. So some of these were actually not in the patch notes and you know, they, were, they need to be some tweaks and also a bunch of new aspects made it into the PTR that previously were not announced. So there's actually some lots, actually lots of interesting new stuff suddenly that we have to take another look at and look at those planners. But for now, you can go check this out. And well, I'm very excited to finally get my hands on a lot of these items here, try out a lot of the new builds. Uh, there's a lot of stuff for all of the classes. So it has been kind of like a wild ride for the first night now. Let's see what kind of uh, updates we're gonna get here. So this is a tweet here from Adam Fletcher. They're saying they're gonna take down the PTR. They're updating it, uh, doing some fixes on the compasses and the scrolls. So these are the Infernal Horde features uh, the keys and the upgrade things and uh, apparently there's also something going on here with boss health that they want to change for season five but again this is kind of like up in the air right now a question mark i guess where we will be after yeah, these fixes here's also this tweet from adam fletcher that uh, talks about the ptr going down for updates so they want to fix some stuff with the infernal horde so these are the keys and these are these upgrade things that i talked about at the start of the video so hopefully we're gonna see some improvements i mean actually gonna have a chance to find those unique items and also here there's like a separate issue where they talk about the boss health scaling so apparently it is overtuned but again we have it on the known bugs list or known issues list so i'm not really sure what is going on here and uh, they say they want to rebalance it again whatever that means i guess so i'm probably tuning it a bit down but maybe it's supposed to go up from season four i don't know so we don't really have any data on this. For now, I hope you enjoyed my summary on the PTR on the day one. I'll keep you guys posted with a lot more stuff. So stay tuned also for a lot of clips and you know, little details that we discover. Let me know what you think. Let me know what you have tried or what you want me to try, especially for builds and so on. So maybe there's some cool stuff that I haven't thought of yet for all the classes. And otherwise, hope you enjoyed this and see you guys next time.